think the weather is about as good as it's going to get. It'll start getting dark. So I'm going to run 10 rounds of this PPU through just to kind of see where the gun is hitting, check function on it. I haven't shot this gun yet. It's just out of the box and then I cleaned it up. You know, I'll run a patch through the barrel. Though, you know, these are kind of nice. Uh, they aren't as <laughs> filthy as some of the bosons are. Then I took the bolt apart and lubed that up. I haven't had the action out of the stock yet, but I figured I'd shoot it first and then see what I'm dealing with there. But it is an older one, and it's not in too bad a shape. You know, some of them, I, I lucked out in that they had like a half dozen of them, so I kind of got to pick through, which is nice because you hate to buy stuff sight on scene. But this is kind of what I wanted. You know, I, I really didn't have a, a, a great desire to own one, or I'd have had one a long time ago, but this was a pretty good deal. And I figured, well, they aren't going to be around forever. You know, so it's one of them things where I figure I better buy one while I can. Because this stuff dries up. You know, it'll be real common and all of a sudden, gone, you know, so I figured I wanted to have one, and, you know, I, I don't mind having another caliber, in fact, you know, this actually it could very easily turn out to be a really good hunting rifle, but I figured I'd run 10 rounds through to see what she shoots like before she starts raining again. One thing about it, I know it'd be a bugger to carry on a horse with this this bolt hanging way off to the side. I do like having a removable magazine. That's kind of a nice thing. And like I say, nice sights, nice trigger. And, you know, you're halfway there. <laughs> well, she's got to be pretty close. You know, I hung a paper target up, but I have that old hunk of grater blade behind the target, and I could hear the grater blade ringing. should be good. Well, one thing, I can see this sling is kind of a buggery thing because it gets me right in the chin when I get down to... Yeah. I like having a sling, but that's maybe in a bad spot. Yeah. He's all right. Well, that one I let go before I attended to. Got a very touchy trigger. <laughs> so that one went into the back stop. Huh. Yeah, it's hard to get used to. I shoot so many different guns, and everyone's got a different feel to the trigger though this is nice yeah we just gotta adapt to it actually I wouldn't mind having another magazine or two yeah I think the sling me and that are gonna have problems Sure, where that one went. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. 
Well, it'll be interesting to see where they're actually hitting. Okay, I think I moved the hair over. I think they're just a little bit off to one side. Well, part of the problem, my greater blade, the weight of it, it hangs at an angle. <laughs> so I think if I hit right in the center, I'm hitting just the one edge of the greater blade. Yeah, but I like it. And that's just with a PPU. So, I'll see what I can do with that. But it's one of them things where a guy... You know, for some reason I had no you know, great enthusiasm. But I, when one starts hitting you get a little more enthusiastic. But there again... I'm really not that enthused about bolt action rifles. I mean, it's lever actions that I like. But this is a sort of a bolt action. <laughs> I guess it is a bolt, but it's just a weird way of doing it. But likable enough gun. But I think now I get home, I'll take it out of the stock. Because these are supposed to be a free floated barrel, but I, I also have every intention of putting some pine tar on this. Though it almost looks like it has it on now, but this is, like I say, an older one, and the first ones were walnut. So she's dark. But uh, one thing I noticed just carrying it down here, because I walk down rather than drive through the slop, um, fairly light gun, I mean, not. Not as heavy as what even the 98s are, or I don't know weight-wise, but the feel is lighter. You know, it doesn't feel as clunky as they do. So, not bad. And certainly, you know, not the, the battle out of woes it is. And I think they're going, you know, for around 300 350 in that price range now, so that ain't too bad. You know, like I said, I got a, a pretty good deal on this one. And I don't know, you know, how common that surplus ammo is. But this PPU, I think, was like 17 bucks for a box of 20. Oh, and that's not bad. You know, and evidently it hits really well. So, this might be a deer hunter.